channel um this weekend is my aunt's 50th birthday um so i thought i would make a glitter champagne or prosecco sorry a glitter prosecco um bottle and glass for her um so yeah and i thought i'd show you guys how to do it so this morning took myself down to hobbycraft um and we've got got some like pearl stickers these are from these one pound ten pack so that's really good for hobby craft as well um got some rose gold lettering some rose gold numbers a bit of ribbon and the only color glitter they had in like the big tops was red and gold um so i had these little tiny pots here on south 65p each so just grabbed all of those that they had on the shelf. <laughs> so we'll get all this out. Now I wouldn't usually go to Hobbycraft because as much as it's great and it's always got what you want, it is overpriced. Um, but went to our local range, B&M's, no glitter anywhere. I think maybe it's a Christmas thing, they only bring it in around Christmas, so we had to go to Hobbycraft. Um, so first thing you want to do, you need, you need to have some Mod Podge um, because this allows the glass to then be um, washed, like dishwasher friendly. Um, I've got some silver glitter that I already had and then I've just got an empty glitter jar, um, glitter pot because I'm going to try and do it ombre. I've never done this before so it may not work so we'll find out. <laughs> um, so the first thing you just want to get some paper out. Um, just to lay your bottle on um, so that when you use your glitter it doesn't go all over your table and you can scoop it all back up. Um, got a paintbrush, um, so we're going to do silver at the top, pink at the bottom and ombre in the middle. So grab your mud touch and your paintbrush and then apply it to the area that you want. I'm not going to cover the front tag. I always like to leave that one visible, but I will cover the back tag. Third of the way with the, uh, with the pink. So pink at the bottom. So then you literally just pour the It doesn't matter if the line's straight or not. Um, so let's get all that glue, all that glitter. So now we're going to do the uh, the top layer. So again, you just go in with your glue where you want it. ombre you want like the gold and not the gold sorry the silver and pink together so I'm just going to take the empty glitter tub that I had pour some of the pink in and then some of the silver and then just give it a good shake Oh yeah, it's pretty. So then we need to obviously glue the middle bit. So, middle section ombre. So I've done the glitter, so I've mixed the glitters together. Um, make sure there's no excess. It does help to have, to have like a dry brush. You can just brush any excess away. doesn't matter if you go over like the silver or pink slightly because hopefully it'll help with the look 
I mean, the sand doesn't matter. I've not done this before. It may matter. <laughs> we'll find out in a moment. <laughs> So once this is dry, we'll have to do another coat to make sure it's completely covered. But it looks alright at the moment. I'm gonna sit down for this. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what to do with the glass because I want it to say 50 and fabulous, and I write Kerry's name on it. Just going to put like a layer, like a band around the top so that we get a nice straight line because obviously I don't want it gone all the way to the very top. Um, so I use electrical tape because it's thinner than most other cellar tapes and also um, doesn't leave like a sticky mark. You know like for cellar tape you pull off sometimes it leaves a bit of sticky on there, electrical tape doesn't do that. for a good few hours so I'm gonna clear up this glitter <laughs> and then I'll come back and finish it in a few well I won't finish it in a few hours I'll give it another coat I'll come back to you when it's had all its coat these have been drying now with their second coat and they've been drying for about an hour maybe um, so I'm just gonna dust off any excess you know how I said it doesn't matter if you do a straight line or not. I feel like it probably did matter. I feel like this would have looked a lot nicer had it been a straight line. However, it's just too late now. <laughs> Nothing can be done about it. Oh, oh no, the silver's gone everywhere. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do another coat. Just be a bit more um cautious with it. I'm hoping I might be able to get the, uh, the um, lines a bit straighter actually if I do another coat on them. Right, and I uh, give myself a line with um, the electrical tape again, but I don't know if it's going to stick to the glitter. We can try, we can try. see the line now it does look a lot better with the line mm. if 
아니 얼핏 있나? 다들. 아, oh, it looks so much better with the fine line. Okay, so earlier when I said I don't think it matters, it's uh, ombre. It does matter. It looks so much nicer when you can see the line. I didn't like the way the glass was looking. So I'm gonna change the glass. Thank goodness I brought a couple. is well and truly dry and I have just um, about an hour ago stuck another glitter coat on this so it's almost dry so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush the excess glitter off of the bottle first Need to glue it first. <laughs> okay, so for this part, where it's just like our final layer, other than around the um, the label, which you're going to need to obviously do quite neatly. So we use the paintbrush for that, which I've left over there. Maybe. So around like the top of the bottle on the um, what is it called? Uh, the label. The label. <laughs> we'll do. We'll use the paintbrush. And then um, I'm going to use the sponge to just dab the rest of it. Um, you can use the paintbrush, I just prefer to use the sponge. Just, oh god, look, oh. From the last time where I dabbed. Um, so just pour a little bit in your lid. Get your sponge. Evenly coated. And while it's still a bit wet, I'm going to stick the gems on so they like there's like um extra stick. Hey gems, they're not gems, they're like pearls. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Two of the gems just don't fit perfectly. The rest is perfect. I don't know how how it's done that, but never mind. So we're gonna do around like the neck. So I've just gone around with a little line of blue again. Hopefully this proves to be a bit easier because it took forever to do the tag.
realised that I hadn't actually um, finished showing you guys the glitter bottle and glass that I was doing. So obviously you see me make a mess. Um, and then obviously you see me do this, but what I didn't show you was I just literally did a line of Mod Podge around the pearls um, so that hopefully, fingers crossed, it is dishwasher safe. We'll find out. And again, I put um, a line of Mod Podge around the pearls here and here as well, just so um, so they didn't come off really. And then I have got a box. I just put um, just like a pink box from um, Card Factory and I also brought some like um, it's just like sparkly shredded not paper but you can see what it is um, but they didn't have many really colours I really wanted like silver or actually I am sure when I was in the range the other day I saw it was like um, it's like this but it was clear and translucent you know where it goes like mermaid -y, like different colours I was sure I saw it in the range. Went back in there today to try and find it. Could not find it. So I reckon I must have saw it in the Hobbycraft. And that's too far away for me to be going. Um, but yeah, so I got like a multicoloured one. And the last pink one they had. I would have just got pink, but they only had one. And so I'm just going to place the drink and glass in the... Oh, I don't want it to squash it all down too much. Just try and uh, poof it out a little bit. This is what it looks like. Look cute, doesn't it? I'm, f I'm wondering, do I cellophane it up or just put the lid on? Just put the lid. Oh, do I cellophane it up? I might cellophane it up. Should we cellophane it up real quick? Now, had I known I was going to cellophane it, I would have brought a nicer bow. But this is all I had. But, I don't think that looks too shabby. Could be a lot worse. I hope you liked it. Bye-bye.